So Blake and I first met at Abner's on the Square. We were working together. And I would flirt with him at work, and at first he wouldn't flirt back with me. And I had messaged him on Facebook, and he didn't message me back for a whole weekend. And I was like, oh Lord, I have to quit my job now. It made me so nervous. But then he eventually messaged me back, and he had been in a golf tournament all weekend. And we've been together ever since then. So. Me and Kayla's first date, it was a typical date. We uh, ended up going to the movies and then we were hungry afterwards, which is usual for us. So we ended up going to IHOP and grubbing down on some pancakes. I don't know, I remember sitting at the movie theater and you know, like when you're in high school, you're sitting there like trying to hold hands with your boyfriend. And so I was sitting there with him and he was such a gentleman, like he didn't hold my hand or anything. He was very like slow moving and I really, I liked that in him. What I like most about Kayla is she's very determined. And she puts her mind to it. She really drives to do the best that she can at that. Um, I mean, I know through nursing school, it was a lot of long nights and she worked um, a job going through that whole thing. And it was just a lot. And she, she handled it like a champ, worked her way through it. And she now she's a labor and delivery nurse. I wanted to do the proposal a little different. Um, I have a duck dog and she'd been gone for eight months, so I kind of wanted to get her uh, involved in the process. So when she got back, we decided to throw a surprise um, graduation party for Kayla. And we had everybody there, and uh, I ended up telling everybody to come outside so we can you know, show them what she had learned while she had been down at school. Whenever we got engaged, I did not see it coming. I figured it would come, I had just graduated nursing school, so I figured it would come at some point, but I didn't see it coming that day. It was the day before Blake's birthday, and we had planned to everybody go eat for his birthday. And my mom just happened to be in town, and I'd been begging her to come eat. She was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Well, then that day she said, okay, I'll come. And so whenever she got there, he was like, oh, Miss Tracy, you hadn't got to see Teal, our duck dog, retrieve. And I was like, Blake, nobody wants to go watch her retrieve. It rained all night. And everybody was like, no, let's go watch her, let's go watch her. So we went outside and I had just bought these brand new shoes and he wanted me to come down in the grass and record her retrieving. And I was like, Blake, I have my new shoes on. He's like, just come record her. And I did that all the time. We trained with her in the yard. And so I went out there to record her and whenever I did, he had sent her off to retrieve and he sent her on a blind retrieve. When she came back, she had a bumper that said, will you marry me? Kayla was confused, like wondering where she was going. She ended up working perfectly, got the bumper, brought it back and just dropped down on one knee. I told him, I said, even if I didn't want to marry you, I would have said yes to Till because that's my baby. <laughs> so. so. What I'm most excited about on our wedding day is to see Blake whenever I first come in the chapel. Since we're not doing a first look, I'm really excited to see his reaction. Um, honestly, uh, I, I think it's going to be her walking down the aisle. Um, I'm just really excited to see her in her dress. I know she's been looking forward to it. And I mean, now today, like it being the big day, I, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know what Blake's reaction will be when he first sees me since we're not doing a first look. Um, I don't know if he'll cry or not. He's not a big crier, so we'll have to see. I feel like he'll be excited, but. If she had the dress that I think about it, she might look like my mother. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> You're beautiful. Thank you. You like it? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> That's my allergies. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, just like I imagined. You look like your grandma. Yeah.
love is not found in saying the right things or with big gestures. No, love is found in the day to day. It's learning to put the other person's needs above your own. It's learning to forgive and move past the shortcomings of others. You see, God doesn't love us of what we are or what we do for Him. He loves us because we are His. And so in the same way, you are to love each other, not because of what the other one does for you, but because the other one is yours. Black and Killer, there's going to be good days ahead of you. There's going to be hard days ahead of you as well. Regardless, though, love each other in all seasons in life, in the good and the bad, for love never fails. Take everything we have and let the new begin. Won't give up. Like in Kayla, by the grace of God and in front of these witnesses here today, it is with great joy that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Blake, you may kiss your bride. The thing I'm looking forward to the most about being married is that we get to see each other every day. Um, we'll get to go through adventures together every day. We'll get to hopefully have children, get to raise them, and just, I don't know what, like live my life with her. Um, it's just gonna be awesome.